Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here. So remember the Back to the Future self-lacing shoes, the Air Mags that I made a video about? Well, that was a prop, you know, a super limited edition. Almost no one could get one, but even if you did, you wouldn't wear them every day. You'd put them in a glass case and display them for the world to see. But shortly after that, we saw that Nike would actually be making a real pair of self-lacing shoes that people can actually buy and wear in 2016. This is those. This is the Nike HyperAdapt 1.0. Welcome to your super HD exclusive first look. So right off the bat, this is one of the first pairs you will see on the internet. And this pair in particular is a custom colorway that not everyone will be able to get their hands on. It's all white. Damn, Daniel. So the one that you'll actually be able to buy, the ones that you've seen the articles about, will be in the black color. And they look a lot more subtle in person. I actually prefer them in that color. But you can see with the general shape here, the HyperAdapts have that classic Nike style to them. You know, looking a little bit like the older Kobe's, maybe a little bit of Kyrie's in there. I'm no sneakerhead by any means. I leave that to my cousins for the most part, but these look pretty clean, I gotta say. Now, obviously the mags would look crazy on your feet in public. They're like moon boots, but these have done a good job of looking like a normal shoe while adding the ridiculously convenient self-lacing feature. These lights on the side and on the back are pretty cool and they actually serve a purpose. So after you use the buttons there to adjust the final tightness, same as the mags, up button to tighten, down button to loosen. After you do all that, the color the lights glow at the bottom represents how much battery life you have left. So blue is good to go. Yellow means you're getting lower, might want to think about charging, and red means low battery. But what's different is, unlike the mags, the lights on the shoe don't stay on 24-7 when you're wearing them. Again, they're blending in, so you don't need them on all the time. So that saves you a lot of battery life. So the Hyper Adapts should last you a pretty comfortable two weeks on a charge, if not way more than that. Now to recharge them, this is actually way better than the mags, you might be asking, how exactly do I get battery back in these guys? Well, in the massive box they come in, there's what looks like a, a weird double stethoscope thing. Yeah, that is the wireless charger. Yes, these shoes have wireless charging. There's magnets in the chargers and magnets in the bottom of the shoe that are actually pretty powerful. So I guess while MagSafe may be gone in the new MacBook Pros, it lives on here in the two amp charger that connects to the bottom of these shoes. They take about two hours to fully recharge from zero. And Nike reps I've talked to have said they've worn them for much longer than two weeks with no problems. So you can even charge them up real quick from a power bank in case of emergency dead shoe battery situation. That's a very 2016 sentence. So now that these shoes already have a feature that plenty of smartphones don't have, it should be pretty obvious that these are super smart. You know, I consider them a piece of tech just for that. Uh, they also have a memory to them. So the automatic lacing might not be the perfect snugness for you, but you can mess with it. You can adjust it on the go. And then once you've decided you like it, you can hold both buttons for a couple of seconds to set that to the tightness as a preset. So next time you step into the Hyper Adapts, they will remember just how you like it. So this is it. This is the first gen of a new product and Nike is encouraging us to actually like wear them around, you know, wear them every day, put them to the test. Uh, and while I don't think I would ever walk out of a Nike store with the mags on my feet, I can actually see these being everyday shoes for people, which is the idea. Like considering there is a motor, a battery, uh, some magnets and LED lights all in the bottom of the shoe. It's actually pretty lightweight, like under 15 ounces, and the shape and snugness have it pretty comfortable. And there's just something about having the shoe lace up for you as soon as you step in them. Fastest shoe tie ever, honestly. You don't realize how easy it is until you actually try it. And to then be able to stop in the middle of your day and press a button for one second to tighten the shoes is way easier and way faster than untying and retying laces. So basically, long story short, if I'm thinking of these shoes as a tech product, then I'm seeing them as like version 1.0. I mean, they're called the Hyper Adapt 1.0s. So similar to like the first generation of smartphones or first generation of tablets, the tech inside has a long way to go. And you can kind of see it. Like, I mean, they do a pretty good job of making it look like regular shoes, but you can tell that they're not normal shoes. So if you're the type of person who would love to hang on to like a first generation iPhone or a G1 or a first gen product to see what it ends up looking like with the contrast of today's tech, then you're also the type of person who would probably want to hang on to a first generation pair of hyper adapts to see what they look like next to shoes in like eight years, which is why I am giving mine away. And it's not just me, it's me and my buddy John from the TLD Today channel, so you should check out his channel. He dropped a video at the same time of these shoes as well. He's a size 11, he's given his pair away. I'm a size 13, I'm giving my pair away. 
And in case you're not the type to actually want to wear them every day, we'll throw in some other tech to spice it up and make it actually worth winning the giveaway, even if you don't wear the shoes or happen to be our size. So we're gonna throw in a tech backpack, we're gonna to toss in a battery bank, and the winner will also get the smartphone of his or her choice. So there are two of these kits being given away. All you have to do to get entered is to drop a comment right below that like button of which smartphone you would want in your pack and one of the winners will be selected in exactly a week from today, and it'll be announced on Twitter, and that person will get a pack. Again, enter on his channel as well, sub to both of us, and get yourself entered. So good luck, that's been it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed your exclusive first look at the HyperDaps, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.